Hi everyone, so this is the look that I'm doing today. It's a, yeah, kind of a dramatic look with purple eyebrows and leopard print. Now, I found out leopard print. This is leopard print, not cheetah and not jaguar. Um, leopard are the one, or leopards are the ones that have like the really defined rosettes which is like the little circle with the color inside. Uh, cheetahs just have spots and jaguars have kind of larger, more diffuse rosettes. So this is definitely leopard. <laughs> I had to look that up for myself. And um, yeah, and my arm is a little bit sore today, so it was kind of hard for me to do a tutorial because I am getting a three quarter sleeve. Well, I'm in the process of getting a three quarter sleeve. So this here, it's all peeling and everything like that right now, but it's just makes it really difficult to blend and stuff but yeah so hopefully that'll be finished in the next month or two um yeah so let's get this tutorial started so I've already primed my eye with Too Faced Shadow Insurance and now I'm going to take this NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and apply it to my lid and I'm going to blend it just up to the crease now I'm going to use a different technique than I usually use um, I'm, instead of using my 217 here to apply the shadow above. Um, I'm going to use this contour brush by Quo. I don't know, I've been trying it out for the past couple days and I've had it for years and just never really get around to using it, so I'm going to try it out. And I'm using it for the past couple days and I, I kind of like it, so I don't know if I'll keep on using it all the time. But um, So now I'm going to take Atlantic Blue here and I'm going to use this eye contour brush to apply it above my crease. So I just applied it like that. And now I'm gonna take it where the contour, the longer part, and place it into my crease. And yeah, hopefully this works. <laughs> no, it should, I'm just kidding, but yeah. Like so. Eh, I'm not liking the way that one part turned out. But, you know, I can fix that up. Okay, so I just went and cleaned it up a little bit, this eye. This eye applied a lot more nicely and a little bit more evenly. But, you know, it could be like the Atlantic Blue that doesn't blend very nicely, so... Because the other shadows I've used with that have actually worked out quite well. So now I'm going to take Vex off my messy palette and apply it to my lid. I don't know if they've reformulated Vex, but I just purchased a new Vex and I still have like my old one here. And I find that they're different. Um, I find that the new Vex is a lot more soft and a little bit like a lot more like I guess chalky, but it applies still it applies very nicely. And I only need like one or two swipes with it. Whereas this one it's kinda of like I had to like really work at it to get enough on the brush. I think they've improved it. Now I'm going to take my 296 and my number 92 and I'm going to apply it in the crease and then blend it up. I'm going to take my smudger brush and apply the 92 to my lower lid. I'm going to take creme brulee and apply it to my, just below my brow, eyebrow. I'm going to take Max Beautiful Iris and my little tapered brush and I'm going to apply that as a highlight to my inner corner, or the inner corner of my eye. line my waterline with a black coal liner. Now I'm going to use Ben Nye's cake liner to line my eye. And I'm going to wing it out and connect it to my bottom lid, which is something I don't normally do, just because my eyes are usually fairly dry and they water. 
and I, it always breaks up there, but I'm going to use something else, uh, a waterproof eyeliner on my lower lid, so see how that works throughout the day. Okay, so now that I've drawn them on, I'm going to take this waterproof waterproof black eyeliner, this one's by Gosh, and I'm just going to line my lower lid. And then I'll blend out the line a little bit. I'm going to take this All May eyeliner. It's kind of got a black sparkle to it, but um I'm using this one because it's the only one that I have that has like a felt tip to it. And so yeah, I'm just going to draw on little kind of squiggly circles and semicircles and things, good stuff like that. And now I'm going to draw three of them in my lower corner of my eye. I'm going to take Max Electra, which is a really nice silver color, and I'm going to take this little tiny Sonny Kashuk pencil brush thing, thingamajig right here. And I'm going to apply it inside the dots. And now for the pink eyebrows. So first I'm going to start off with this fuchsia pencil here. It's actually a lip pencil, but I'm just going to uh, use it for my eyebrows. I'm just going to fill them in a little. Not too much because I'm actually going to draw... This is just the base. I'm actually just going to draw it on with powder. I'm going to take this eyebrow eyeliner brush MAC 266 and I'm going to take MAC's Bright Fuchsia Pigment and apply it on top. I use two different brushes all the time for my eyebrows. Um, I like to use this one for to fill in the front part of my brow and then I like to use this more fine synthetic brush to do the ends because I like it to be a little bit more thin and I find that this one's just a little bit too thick to do the end of my eyebrow. normally you'd probably put some concealer on your eyebrows and stuff just to lighten them up a little bit but um, my eyebrows are so thin and sparse and stuff that I'm not even gonna bother okay anyway um, now I'm going to apply my lashes my blush and my lipstick and I'll be right back okay so this is the finished look Yeah, I finished it off with um, NYC's 405B lipstick, and then I topped it off with um, Electric Fuchsia Lip Gloss from MAC. And yeah, so this is the look. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, and um, I'll talk to you later.